Race day two saw unsettled weather arrive as predicted and that jacked up the pressure on the race course. Spores brought wind gusts and shifts and made the waves steeper. It made for some exciting sailing and a bit more of a challenge. Some competitors had experience in big waves and wind, while others had to learn on the go. Let's hear from some of our sailors. Uh, the conditions were quite windy today and it was quite wavy and it was pretty hard work. It was pretty nice. I looked up and I saw a person capsize on a wave on the upwind. <laughs> So I had to brace myself to get ready for that gust. Uh, you have to hike harder and you have to um, bail a lot and you have to get over the waves nicely. So The waves were really good for me since I, from the fifth place, I came to first at the reach mark. But then I lost to Marco. <laughs> and, but yeah, otherwise it was all good. The wind in Antigua is always not stop. It's good. But maybe second race is not good. And it's a nice world championship. Very bad. I have bad start. I sailing today very slow. I must have better start and I must be faster. In Antigua I like uh, waves because they are very big. Downwind is the best. Because the gusts is there, there were bigger waves and we could just go a lot faster and we were like flying on the reach. On the reach where I gained like 10 positions because I was going so fast and yeah everyone else pretty much gave up. Sanchez is the head of the international jury here at the Opti Worlds 2019. They are the ultimate arbitrators when there's a conflict that's not resolved on the water. Most of the time when they have a problem on the water, for example they have a collision or they touch a mark which is forbidden, they solve, they solve it themselves. They have the possibility to make turns and, and solve it. Um, only when it is something like a situation with three boats or coming to a mark or something really really difficult like um, collision with damage then they come to us while the weather condition should ease back into a normal zone tomorrow the pressure builds on our racers as it's the last day for them to qualify for the team racing event and for the finals after that